Well, we had a pretty decent start to the season. Unfortunately, things have kind of come back to earth as reality has set in. And we're struggling just a little bit, uh, mainly on the defensive side of the ball. We've got a lot of interest in some of our players, and with some creative loans, we have finally moved out enough players to actually get our wage bill in line. So that's positive news. Now I just have to figure out how to stop people from scoring goals against us. This is episode 33 of Football Manager Play the Kids. Let's get into the highlights against Bristol City and speed up that match speed, of course. And it's Bristol Rovers with a shot from outside the box, and it's Levingston who puts it in past Humphreys from 25 yards out. And uh, that was not good. And another shot from way outside. That had to have been at least 30, right? Yep, 30 yards out. And we are in a 2-0 hole. The cross comes in, and there is the header off the set piece. We gave David Tierney the start in this one, and he does respond with a goal there. But then Tierney gets beaten over the top. It's Doyle who rounds Humphreys. And it's Tiverton 1, Bristol 3 just a couple of minutes into the second half. Mudge with a good first touch, brought it just a step to the left to open an angle, puts it in past North. That's a good goal from him. He's been working his way back into fitness since coming back from that early season injury. Another back post goal. We were plagued by that all last season. That made it 2-4. to four. And a penalty. Humphreys didn't even try for that one. That gave Bristol five goals. In the 93rd minute, we got a header. And it was George Frost, his first goal for the club. And just a minute later, Doyle off the bench to Williams. And he beats North to the near post. Five to four would be the final. Uh, probably shouldn't have been that close. I think we got lucky with those two late goals. But 5-4, uh, to four, we were outshot 20-13. to 13. We were dominated in possession. Not good. Not good at all. Uh, the goals were exciting, but um, giving up way too many. By the way, don't forget to hit like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you do get reminders when a video goes live. Uh, we had kind of taken a look at the friendlies already, and after the uh, early win against Crawley, uh, we did beat Newport County 1-0. I don't need to show you the highlight. Uh, Tony Doyle with the goal in that one. Uh, Bristol Rovers did beat us 2-4 in the Carabao Cup. Benjamin Ireland was in on this one uh, because of the injury to Porter, our new player, and he had a brace in three minutes. Uh, Dag and Red, we beat 4-1. to one. We picked up an own goal and then another hat trick by Graham Williams. That's his second hat trick in the early going of this season. Leighton Orient beat us 2-0. to zero. And then Charlton 4-3. to three. Graham Williams and Robin Mudge with the three goals there. And Bristol. So, uh, yeah, it's it's been a mixed bag. That does drop us out of playoff contention. Again, I'm not expecting playoffs or anything this year. I really just want to stay up. Uh, but you can see uh, we've taken a nosedive in the standings lately. But we're just under that two point per match. That's, uh, that's a pretty good ratio. That would get us keep us up safely for sure. And the good news is we are seven points clear of the relegation battle. So there's always that, right? Uh, did we make any other moves to let you guys know about? I don't recall. No, we have not signed anybody. Uh, but yeah, we did move. Uh, Curtis Brunt goes out on loan. Jerry Henry goes out on loan, uh, picking up their, their wages. And taking a look at finances, you can see we are finally under our wage bill all those uh promotion contract clauses you know 20 to 30 percent pay raises 
Uh, that really kicked us in the ass. Uh, so we're going to have to be real careful with those. I am, uh, I have re-signed a few players and I've, I'm learning, uh, when to go in, uh, instead of choosing the default immediate there, check and see if it's available to do at the end of the season. That way they finish out their existing contract that they've signed and you get the end of the year. Um, and I'm also trying to keep those promotion clauses to a max of 20% if I can. So anyway, that's that. Uh, let's take a look at how dynamics are looking early in the season. Cohesion is good. Club atmosphere has dropped a little bit with the recent form. And uh, we do have two players that are unhappy. Kurt Scobie wants to leave. Uh, Cheltenham came in and he says, I want to play with a better club. And I said, Cheltenham's in the league below us. That makes no sense, uh, but nobody's agreeing with him, and uh, Bakar Suma is concerned that he is playing in a weak position. Uh, he's playing on the right side mostly. Uh, he's not horrible inside, but I, I just think he's a better fullback for us uh, with the guys that we have, and his form hasn't been there. So that's going on there. And if we look at the hierarchy, uh, of course, we moved off our, uh, we removed our captain, Ireland. Now, he's still here. Where, where did he go? Okay, Ireland has fallen down to a highly influential player, and that has allowed Williams to step up into a team leader role. So that's good. And, I mean, all 24 players support me, uh, even the ones that are unhappy with me, right? So that's good. There's Bakar Suma and Scobie. So, you know, that's good. So anyway, that is uh, where we're at currently. Let's get up to the uh, Aston Villa game. This will be the Aussie Villain Derby. And uh, if you haven't checked Aussie Villain out, check out his channel. He does some really good uh, skits at the beginning of his videos for transfers and whatnot. Um, I'd like to do that, but then I'd just be blatantly ripping him off, so I won't do it uh, just on principle. Uh, but uh, very, very good guy. He's helped me out a lot. Uh, you know, easy to communicate with. He'll answer questions. And uh, so big thumbs up to Aussie. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And I uh, hope that baby's doing well. Uh, he's, a, he's a relatively new dad. So uh, that's, uh, that's a good thing. And uh, we'll be right back for, Auss uh, for, for Aussie villain Aston Villa right after this. So we're going to put Ireland in the shop window. And he scored two goals. We sh we, I showed you that a minute ago uh, in the Carabao Cup. But... We just got a bid for him, and it was under what we paid for him several years ago. I was able to negotiate to almost double what we paid for him, and I accepted it because he's on $3,100 a month. So that would be a big chunk of our wage bill, and he isn't playing very much. Now, I like him. He was our starter last year, but... I, I I don't know, man. I, I think uh, <laughs> I think we want to get. Let's see. I think we want to get him out if we can. Let's see. Marking, passing. Yeah, that's what we're gonna go. So we're gonna go with Humphreys in goal. Uh, back four of Moore, Byron, Hemmings, Frost, and Bakar Suma. Ellis and Brian in the mid. Ireland and Carmichael on the wings. Mudge and Williams up top. Porter is definitely going to be our main left winger once he's back to full fitness. That's just going to take him a little while. He was out for a good bit with that injury. Now, I just lied to him because we're going to lose this game. Villa's top of the table. They're in first position. They were the biggest spender in the offseason. They spent $3.3 million dollars which was just utterly crazy. Oh, my goodness. Some good ball movement in there. A good save. And then, oh, Humphreys right into the belly. He probably lost his breath on that one, huh? All right, let's give him some encouragement. 
They've got three shots, all of them on target. We've had one, and it evidently was nowhere close to the goal. Four ball over the top. All right, there's some good control. We've got a lot of space in the midfield there, which is good. Oh, uh, Williams didn't make the break on the ball. I don't know if he was possibly thinking he was off sides. Wow. That was horrible, Ellis. Thank you very much. So we are, ooh, they're going to call Frost for a foul there? Man, I don't know about that. Can we see a replay, please? No? Okay. It's one of those uh, VARs they don't really show you. Oh, what a save by Humphreys. He's a hero to the people. The few people that are here. Look at our crowd over in the corner right there. Oh, my God. Look at the attendance at Villa Park or wherever they're playing here in the future. I mean, you know, there's empty seats, but but there's people in every, like a lot of people in every section. I, don't, I have no idea what the attendance here is, but. All right, let's encourage them again, because they are playing well. Carmichael, near post. Oh, that's headed out. Carmichael again. Uh, good block by the defender. And a good outlet ball. Albertini into the box. I don't know if Humphrey's got a hand on that. It looks like he did the way we're walking back. I couldn't tell. All right, Mudge is on to it. I think we're, we're doing pretty damn good here. 50-50 on possession. Oh, no. Oh, thank goodness. He flubbed it. I think he saved it and dropped it. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah, I think he I think Humphrey knocked it down and luckily that guy was in an offsides position. Oh, Jesus. Another big save by Humphreys. Oh my. All right, you know what? I am going to try something here. I'm going to drop lower just to limit just to limit those over the top balls because we don't have the pace to keep up with these faster players at, at, at the higher level. I mean, even even all of our five-star youth are coming in with six or six pace, seven pace. Um I did get an offer, 13, to, 13 shots, 10 on target. I think Humphreys has been player of the match for us. He's on an 8-6. What a stud. Uh, let's uh, hands together. There's nothing to lose. So we, we got an offer. We've been getting an offer, I think, from Gateshead uh, for Williams. And I don't want to really sell him, but... He's by far another save by Humphreys. He's by far our biggest asset, right? Oh, over the top. It's Williams, and he skies it. Ugh. He's only got a finishing of like eight. It's, it's not high. Um, how he scores that many goals, and we said this a couple of seasons ago. He's, he's a perfect example, right, of stats not measuring up to... Oh my goodness, Graham Williams gets the rebound on the third effort, and we have taken, I'm going back to balanced here, uh, we have taken a 1-0 lead over Villa in the second half. Ireland takes a crack. Carmichael hits the post. I think it was a bank shot pass, actually. I think he was using the pass to pass it back to Williams uh, off the post. I think that was huge. Um, but, uh, anyway, they came in and they're, they're coming in at about 112, 113,000. Oh, that could have been good. Um, 
and I negotiated it up to I was I've got an asking price on him of two hundred and twenty thousand, but he he didn't really want to go uh, to Gateshead anyway, right? Oh, it's through, but it's too far. Come on, Mudge. And uh, they accepted it. I mean, I went from the 113 or 115 up to, oh, here we go. No. Oh, come on. Get that second goal. Let's encourage him again. And they accepted the 220, and I said, you know, I'm going to reject it anyway because it doesn't get us out of debt, right? All right, Mudge lays it back. He knew he wasn't going to be able to break through. And it wasn't going to solve our debt problem, right? We were still going to be way in debt. And, oh, come on, fellas. Do a better job. And I've got good passers here. I mean, that's one of the things I've been looking for. But we did get the offer up to $220,000 before, and I still rejected it. But uh, that was kind of hard. So if we, if we, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for the board to come in and just accept one of those. Now, remember, we have had that happen in the past. It was, uh, like, what was it, two seasons ago or the beginning of last season? And, oh, my God, I haven't made any freaking subs do I want to make any subs? I think I'm going to bring in Tierney for Hemmings. I don't usually sub out the center backs, but Tierney's a, I think he's a better defender. I just think he's a better defender. I'm going to bring on Hugel for more Byron. Better defense. And I am, yeah, see, Ireland's only playing a 6-2. So, yeah, we're going to make a triple sub. I should have done this earlier. Stoppage time. Oh, this would be a huge up. What an upset. Villa nil, Tiverton Town won. What a victory. What a game. A 9-9. Nine -nine. I guarantee, I, I don't think any of you guys have ever seen a 9-9 nine -nine for a goalkeeper. That is, <laughs> that's mind-blowing. A 9-9 nine -nine for a keeper. Let me know in the comments if you have ever seen that. And I don't usually ask this. Share this video. Your Twitter feed, your Facebook feed, whatever. Share this video pimping out the 9-9 nine -nine goalkeeper. Because I guarantee there are... So many people out there in the FM community that have not seen a 9-9. Nine -nine. That was a perfect game. A clean sheet, obviously, player of the game, player of the match. Oh, my goodness. Um, outstretched arms. What a result. And you know what? Uh, no, no, no. Who? Where's, where's he at? There he is. You, thank you, you impressed me out there. There's really nothing close enough. We'll even do the hug uh, after the match. That's insane. Wow. All right, that gets us back up 12 points from six, still on the outside of the playoffs, but I'm okay with that. Uh, seven played. They were unbeaten. They were unbeaten. They spent $3.3 million in the transfer window this year. That's more than my entire wage. That's more, that's more than the entire worth of my team. Right? <laughs> I mean, they spent $3 million. That's insane. What that's got to be the greatest goalkeeper performance I have ever seen. Uh, Humphreys, here we go. Yeah, you know, we've got to put our arm around him. It was a joy to behold. Perfect morale. Oh, oh. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad, but no, that's... Humphreys was the star of that game. All right, I wanted to look. So our club value, 
is two hundred and fifty four thousand dollars. That's our club value. And they spent three point three million on new players this year. That's just sick. Sick. <laughs> All right, guys. Smash the like button for that. I you know if six of you guys watch this video, I should get six likes. It, this video deserves it. So smash the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get reminded when videos do go live. And guys, we'll see you next episode. Thanks so much for watching this one. Please pass on the glory that was Humphreys in this game. Oh, greatest, do I dare say, greatest goalkeeping game in the history of football manager possibly